Why are dogs picky? There could be numerous reasons. First, you need to rule out medical causes. Talk to your vet for that. Did you just move? Did you have a baby? Do you have a new roommate? All of those things could cause stress in your dog, which can certainly affect his or her appetite. Also consider, is your food not that tasty to your dog? Not all foods taste the same, and so you may need to experiment with the right food for your dog. Finally, consider if this is a learned behavior, and that's what we're going to focus on here. You can unintentionally train your dog to be picky. Follow these do's and don'ts that you see ahead to make sure that you are not actually causing the problem. First of all, don't free feed, meaning leaving the food out all day for your dog to graze. This is a surefire way to create a picky eater. And I assure you, it's not gonna get better by leaving the food out. Do set time limits. It could be five, 10, 20 minutes for your dog to eat his meals. And if he hasn't finished in that time, you can pull it up and offer it as the next meal. This builds your dog's motivation to eat because that food's not going to be there for very long. So if you wanna eat, you better do it quickly. Don't bother with bowls. This might sound crazy, but I don't even have food bowls in my house. That's because my dogs think that food time is game time. With bowls, they eat it too quickly. There's no interaction involved. It's a real missed opportunity to do something fun with your dog. Do use interactive toys. It could be a blanket with kibble in it, like you see here, or any number of toys that are on the market. A lot of dogs are simply bored during the day, and this is such an easy way to give your dog some real fun engagement because you have to feed them anyway. And similarly, do use kibble for training games. Every dinner for my dogs is training time, and it's very active fun training, as you can see here. Margaret's burning calories, she's building muscle, she's learning a lot of really good sports skills too, and all of this is just done with her dry food. She'll take dry food over a treat any day, and it's because dry food symbolizes engagement and fun. Don't offer better food, meaning if your dog turns his nose up at his dry food for breakfast, don't pick up that bowl, add some chicken, and then put the bowl back down because you have just trained your dog to turn up his nose and wait for something better. Do give one option per meal. If I'm gonna give my dog something extra tasty, that's going to be at the start of a new meal, not after he's turned up his nose at the existing meal. Don't sneak food to your dog from the table or while you're cooking. Dogs are always learning from us, even when we're not intentionally training, and you can very easily teach your dog to beg for your food and simultaneously snub his own. Do save all special food for mealtimes. So I have no problem if you wanna give your dog a little bit of chicken or even a pizza crust, save that for his meal so that he is not getting it in any way connected to you eating it. What you see here is the first few days we have Margaret and look at how chubby she is and look at what a good beggar she is. I am completely ignoring her and I'm using my foot to very gently block her access from the table. And you will see that eventually she gives up. I don't make a fuss when my dogs are begging. I just ignore and block. 